Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwein. Whether you're producing plastic or metal products, you likely use machines to shape them. And I'm Vince Penman. In today's episode, we'll show you how engineers design the machines that make machines. In the world of manufacturing, nearly everything is automated. Once raw materials are added to a machine, an operator flips a switch, and moments later an assembly line whirs into action, and a product is produced. But designing an assembly line system to operate at peak efficiency requires an emphasis on timing, mechanical design, and systems engineering. JR Automation designs and builds automated assembly lines. We spoke with Josh Benson, mechanical engineer, about designing an assembly line that manufactures coolant reservoirs for car radiators. When designing the coolant reservoir assembly line, four unique stations had to be created, one for loading the plastic components, another for welding the components together, a third for cooling, and finally, a separate station for testing the integrity of each reservoir. All designs change, so assembly lines have to change with them. To design in that flexibility for the reservoir system, the JR Automation engineers made each station a standalone machine that could be rearranged within the line with minimal rework. This multi-module approach meant that Josh's team couldn't rely on a traditional linear assembly line model but instead had to design a system that operated from a central hub. This led designers to use a robotic arm to transport the components from station to station. The movement of the arm had to be timed to arrive at each station at the precise moment it was needed. One of the most crucial challenges for high volume assembly lines is determining the correct timing for each step in the process. Because an assembly line acts the same way all day long, one wasted second in a process can turn into days of lost time. To minimize the cycle time, JR Automation engineers used what they knew about the fixed times needed to weld and cool each reservoir. From there, they began designing the movement of the robotic arm, creating what looks like a type of mechanical ballet. In addition to perfecting the timing of the system's movements, Josh and his team knew that making a system that could only handle one reservoir at a time was not going to be efficient enough. The team increased the line's capacity by redesigning the robotic arm's hand so that it could carry six reservoirs at a time. That way, three reservoirs could be unloaded from a station while another three were loaded into their place. Having an arm like that could really help me around the house. Think of all the chores I could get done. Or better yet, all the video games I could play. By integrating robotics into their assembly line, JR Automation improved the timing efficiency and productivity of their assembly line system. Because of the complexity of each of the stations in the coolant reservoir assembly line, Josh and his team found that using skeleton models in Creo Parametric allowed them to make redesigns quickly. You can see Creo Parametric, the same software that JR Automation uses to design the robotic coolant reservoir assembly system at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.